Welcome YouTube, we got another hot fix. They just don't stop coming. Here we go. Greetings, first descendants. Hot fix 1.0.7. Greetings, descendants. Here are the details regarding the first descendant hot fix 1.07 applied maintenance free on Tuesday, August 13th. Content improvements. If you do not select abort or continue during an intern re in uh, hold on. Scratch that disc. Can we get the actual link? I got it. Don't worry, chat. Bam! Ah! Blinding. Here we go, Chad. If you do not select the abort or continue during the inter, uh, interim review in special operations, abort will be selected automatically. Lower the difficulty of mechanics in the hard intercept battle Frost Walker. Destroying frenzied parts will now generate two embers. Okay. Increase the maximum threshold of frenzy gauge, reducing the number of times of the uh, times. Of the colossus becoming frenzied we need to get a better translator chat is this correct grammar reducing the number of times of the colossus i feel like of the twice here doesn't apply i don't know but who am i you know hablo ingles when using slug shots to frenzied colossus its leg movements will be reduced making it easier to aim at the weak points okay okay so far this is the only really good change so far because increasing uh, uh, generated embers is just going to make another bozo pick the embers up instead of the designated runner so this doesn't really do much uh, i think i mean it's good chain it's a good start but if we want to nerf the guy that doesn't seem like a big enough nerf Anyways, characters will no longer receive damage when they are in hazardous area once the Void Intercept battle ends. Uh, that's a great overall uh, adjustment to the game. When Molten Fortress is defeated, the lava on the ground is now removed immediately. When Swamp Walker is defeated, the disease status effect is now removed immediately. The restart function of Void Intercept Battle, Special Operations, and Infiltration Operations now separate into two types. Start with the current squad and restart mission. The time available for start with the current squad is also increased to 60 seconds. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Okay, let's talk about the Frostwalker changes. As far as Frostwalker is concerned, I don't think this is really going to do much to help new players or casuals or people that are geriatric or people that just don't know how to play games all that well in a high level. I don't think these Frostwalker changes are going to do much, to be quite honest with you. Uh, they might make it maybe 10% easier, but yeah, if we were looking for a huge nerf, uh, you're, I don't think so. I personally don't think these are big enough nerfs for Frostwalker, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe they'll realize that people are still not completing Frostwalker, and they'll do another change. Um, okay, so this is how it looks like, chat. Start with the current squad, restart mission. Okay. Okay, I like it. The display animation for Amors when using res reconstruction devi reconstructing device has been simplified. Field in the Echo Swamp di direct co covert void fragment toxic monsters will now spawn faster. Yeah, yeah, we knew that one. The HP of monsters in void fusion reactors have been reduced. This is very good change. Battle pass. We identified an issue where requ the requirements for the battle pass week six challenge, wouldn't it hurt more if my rifle fired harder, were not met retroactively. We changed the requirements to enhance rifling reinforcement to level three. Reduce the difficulty in weekly challenges. As a week six or preseason ends, we noticed that completion rate of battle supply shop was lower than expected. This is, was a due to the fact that the season challenges required everyone to do a lot of grinding. To remedy this, the Depti has come up with two changes. First, 
we lower the difficulty of weekly challenges for week seven and eight, which are planned to be uh, begin on August 15th, also increasing the rewards. The amount of supply coins that you can earn from completing all week seven and eight challenges will be increased. That's great. Great news. We only have 15 days left to finish this. So this is good news. Second, we're currently in the process of adjusting difficulty of season one challenges based on our experience with preseason compared to the preseason. You will be able to complete challenges more naturally as you farm for items, reducing the burden of additional grinding. We're also in the process of increasing the value of rewards you can get from battle passes. Director's comment, as your character becomes stronger, more and more people have been choosing additional options over 200% in hard infiltration operations. However, if you choose additional options, as you cannot begin matchmaking, it becomes difficult as you have to gather party members on chat and communities instead. Therefore, we're currently trying to improve our matchmaking system so you can easily play together even when you select additional options. Spe uh, specifically, additional options will be changed to presets and you will be able to gather a party depending on the percentages of presets you choose. Furthermore, to increase the matchmaking pool, we're planning to allow everyone to enter an infiltration operations together, no matter which Amorphs material they choose. Lord, that's a great change. Actually, kind of big. Good change. Some people don't want to really go for this one, so they have to like not go with their friends because they can't, they have to choose the one their friends are trying to do. Oh my god, that's really good. Um, we're also planning to change the missions in hard infiltration operations from occupation to extermination. We hope to you, uh, we hope you enjoy co-op more easily and experience fast and exciting combat and farming. These changes for hard infiltration operations will be applied in season one. Tool tips for equipment now show up faster. Equipment option tiers are now displayed on the icon. Set effects of the external components are now displayed on the icon. As you can see from the screenshot above, the option tiers of firearm reactors and uh, external components are now displayed on the icon. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. I like it. While not included in Hotfix 1.0.7, we're also preparing additional quality of life features that can help you for, uh, far more easily. For instance, you will be able to assign different symbols to the attached items. The junk filter will also let you filter items with specific options as junk. The dev team is hard at work to make your farming experiences easier. In the module acquisition info, you can now check whether a module can be acquired via combining. The modules can only be acquired via combining our hardline suppression, shot focus, and shield collector. In the consumables menu of the library, you can now see the amount of consumables you currently have. When receiving all lost and found items, is if there is not enough inventory space, you can now only receive it in according to remaining space. When the unique abilities of an ultimate weapon permanently change the weapon default performance, you can now check the changes on the basic info screen. Fix the amounts of recovered display on the skill tip for Eugen so that it matches the improvements made to his recovery amount in Hotfix 1.06. By overhauling the formula of Eugen's recovering skill, the amount of recovery has been slightly increased for skill level 4. You can now gain weapon proficiency when you defeat an enemy with a unique weapon, Luna's Stage Presence. You can now acquire Luna's Noise Surge modification menu a module in the hard intercept battle executioner actually kind of big brain because the only way to acquire this was through combining and through gluttony yeah good luck noobs and the only and we all know the only people that will be playing luna were noobs so this is a good change for the noobs out there um director's comment try you try using luna and her noise search to increase weapon proficiency Defeat enemies with sound of music and fall for her Char and fall for her charm. Fix an issue with a tooltip for the spiral tidal wave and skill mo um, module omitted description saying attracts gluttonies and purities. I hope that we also 
changed the skill name to not read absolute zero instead it reads its actual name because that would be really fantastic um let's take a look here but most importantly chad most importantly who's that pokemon chad Dun, 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 dun. A new descendant. Oh my god, Becky, look at her cake. We got a new descendant coming up here soon, Chad. It's uh maybe a, a chill sniper, our second chill character in the game. Uh huh? Uh huh? A new descendant, Chad, is uh, joining the team. A new descendant is armed with cold fury and ready to strike. What do you think is her greatest strategy? Her assets? Oh my god, Chad, and this has been Hotfix 1.0.7. And this is On the Floor Correspondent, Allie. I'm from Texas, and I love people. Hey, you! Yeah, you. How about you stop circling around YouTube and hit that comment, like, and subscribe? Yeah? You find yourself a nice little waifu now. Do me a favor. Hit that follow button.